What play was that? Uh, it's past 94, a uh, bunch, and I had the, uh, the ex Salo cross. We went over this in OTAs already. How you ever gonna beat a real NFL defense? You don't even know what play we're running. Take a seat, son. Yeah, you lasted longer than me on long shot, but uh, just real football now, bud. <laughs> you keep telling yourself that, Mike. I'm telling you. We'll be rotating all four quarterbacks tonight. I'm in charge of you two. Execute exactly what I say you play. You don't? No reps. That's right. We level. All right, here we go. Felt eyes on me. OK, let's go ace trips right, flex, stretch right. Oh, come on, man. You got to toss that thing up. Make a name for yourself, baby. What? Ain't nobody making this team if we handing it off. Come on, let the thing fly. All right, hey, all right, hey, guys, here we go. I'm going to check alert. 82, X cross, deep post, OK? X cross, deep post, 82 protection. All right, here we go. Ready? Ready. Hey, good call, long shot. I'd stay away from Earl Coates if I was you. You gotta earn these guys' respect before they'll listen to anything coming out your mouth. But I don't think you're ready for it. But we gotta make a decision between you and Smitty. You'll be playing a couple of drives tomorrow night, but a repeat of the day, and you're gone. Hey, Devin Wade, can I get your autograph? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. What's your name, man? Connor. Connor. Good Connor. Thanks for coming out, bud. Cool. Oh, kid, don't let camp arm ride on your stuff. Cool. There you go. You know, his signature's gonna be worthless in about a week. Cool. But now, right. you got a ball worth something. Cool. Devin. Yeah, what's up, bud? Tell Colt he's the best. Will do. You good? Uh, no, I'm not sure. Just got a weird text from home. Cause I ain't got time for no quarterback loss and his personal problems. Sorry, Coach, I'm, I'm good. Your career's on the line, and you out here playing tiddlywinks while Smitty's in there studying. But, oh, you're good, OK. Nice one. And you with the snide remarks for every darn thing. You need to keep your mouth shut. I just left a meeting sticking up for you two dipsticks. And neither of you have shown me nothing. Zero. Zero. Except maybe you don't belong. I would take good enough, but you're not even that. Uh, excuse me, can I, uh, interrupt for a second? I hate to interrupt. I'm in the middle of something. Just need you for one second, Earl. Just a second. Excuse me, guys. You okay? I'm level. Let's not pretend we both see eye to eye. You got your way in there with Coach. Fine. You two have a history together. Well, he and I have a history, too. I'm not the only one losing patience, Earl. You got one week. Excited to see that arm, Big D. Schmiz. We both have the same goal, Earl. All right, let's get on the field. I thought we were I supposed to I said move go. now, let's go! Yeah. Devin Wade finally going to get a chance to show Cowboy fans what he can do, and I'm sure it helps. It's in front of the home fans. It's an intent because they're not trying to fool them with running plays, throwing it, and they're being very successful right now. And Devin just does it himself. 
Runs it in for the score. Well, there we go. A successful drive for Devin Wade. Will that be enough to impress the coaches, especially I don't the want to explain myself to you, Donnie. Well, if the coach keeps listening to you over me, then you do. I say who's ready to play. When is that going to be? Week 15? Look, it's my job to evaluate talent. How am I supposed to do my job if you won't put Devin on the field? Devin, you're ready to play, right? Yeah, of course. But uh... Not his decision. Not your decision. My decision. I say Smitty plays week two. Come on, look. Just... Look, I I've done all the looking I need to. Just uh, give me some flexibility. You want flexibility, do yoga. My mind's made up. Hey, Devin, I'm on your side. I want you on that field as much as you do. I appreciate that. And I'm very flexible. I do Bikram yoga, the hot kind. It's not for sissies. Check us out. Look at that. It's pretty good. Find one on the GM that can do this. Seriously, think about that. Now help me get out of it. You okay? I'm stuck. Seriously, can you help me? Yeah. Thank does. you. Either arm, that's good. It's good for Easy. Ah! Don't let me do that again. Come on. All right. See you later, Donnie. See ya. Hopefully on the field. Just one day after Dallas cut down to three quarterbacks by releasing Mike Schmizniak, the Cowboys are now back to four, feeling the need to add veteran insurance after losing their backup to an MCL tear. Ooh. Boy, you hear this? They're bringing in RG3 to take your spot. That ain't all. Brandon Whedon's coming in, too. Man. <laughs> Third, second, fourth. All in a day's work, huh, Rook? <laughs> well, tell her to deal with it. Well, then you deal with it. Because I'm at work right now. Yeah, well, tell Lily I love her. And to deal with it. All right, I gotta go. I gotta go. Hey, Dev, how are you? Donnie, you got a sec? For Dev and Wade, anytime. Come on, have a seat. Thanks. Can I get you some uh, Hyperion? Oh, no, I'm good. It's ionized. <laughs> it's the kind of crap they give you in this business. They give you cases of it. Anyway, you're better off. Tastes like lemon-infused nothing. So what's up? Okay, so, so Earl said I would be playing Saturday. But now it looks like... I know, I know. Well, after the game, Earl and I had a powwow, and he felt we needed alternatives. Hey... You're frustrated, and I'm frustrated, you know? Here's the way I see it, okay? This is you. You're here. This is your NFL career, all right? Better looking, better looking friends. Your old friends asking to borrow money. Bigger homes. Jewelry for everybody, including me. And this is Earl, getting in the way of all that, okay? Look, you probably think I don't like Earl. I respect the heck out of him. All right? But at a certain point, the old guard has to get out of the way and let the new guard get in there. Look, I'm the one that brought you in here. I know. I want you out there. You've waited long enough. I mean, I agree. I feel ready. You look ready. Can I ask you one question? Yeah, of course. Does, um, Earl seem a little off to you? You know, like, uh, he's struggling a little bit. Wait, so you want me to spy on Earl? Hey, slow down, Mr. Bond. I'm just saying. If you see something, say it. See it, say it. That's all. Right. Donnie, man, thanks for the time. I better get out to practice. Okay, buddy. Want to be late, right? All right. See you out there. Uh, catch you next time. Okay, Coach? I'm fine. Leave it. Hey, Coach, are you sure you're okay? Would be better if you didn't go behind my back. <laughs> you're always against me. Uh, what's that? I didn't hear you. Speak up. Nothing. You got something to say to me, son. Have a spine and say it to my face. I said, you're always against me. Against you? <laughs> against you. 
You know my wife, Wanda, she couldn't have kids. It's the reason why I got into this in the first place. Because I wanted to be a father to someone. But once you're in, you realize there's a lot of decline. High school, you're chasing college. College, you're chasing the pros. Linebacker's coach, you got to be defensive coordinator. Defensive coordinator, you got to be head coach. Better pay, better position, better team, more prestige. And I'm saying to my wife, look, this will be hard, but next year there'll be more money. Next year there'll be more time. And she waited for me, but there was never next year. Now I can't do anything about it. I'm far from what I wanted and I haven't been a father to nobody. And now my wife's gone. I can barely hear or walk around cockeyed, hands shaking, and for what? Grown men chasing a ring. You know, I've never been a head coach. Never won a Super Bowl. But what does it matter? My life. <laughs> you never get it back, son. You never get it back once it's gone. Coach, I'm really sorry, man. That's all right, that's all right. Look, you can go. You sure you don't want me to? No, 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 leave it. You can go. All right. And listen, after this, don't think you know something or that I'll be playing favorites, because I won't. No, of course not. All right, Coach. At the big screen, you know it's huge. It's not toe drag swag. It's not angry runs. But it's your take, Nate, on a guy I know yeah. you love, long shot Devin Wade. What do yeah. you got? Wade's got one preseason game left. Common sense tells you with the injury to the back of quarterback, that would have helped. Mm. But the team brought in RG3 and Brandon Whedon, which means he went from second string to fighting for a third string roster spot. Pour one out for RG3. I miss that, man. We need him back, Nate. In the meantime, any other storylines surrounding Wade we should all be looking at? Well, listen, I'm hearing that Wade and my guy, late round draft pick Tito Flavors, yeah! best name in football. Well, Best name in the world. Listen, I heard they got great chemistry, so we'll see if that goes from the practice field to an actual preseason game. Tito Flavors has all the flavors, the Neapolitan ice cream of football players. Thank you, Nate. Two long shots looking to make a difference. Now, this final preseason game, always interesting. Guys fighting for those final few roster spots, and here comes Devin Wade, one last chance to make a lasting impression. And he has to get that playing time tonight, and let's face it, this is where we are. Guys on the bubble trying to make the team. And there are a bunch of guys who are not going to make the team, but they're playing, hoping someone will see them on film. All right, we've been setting them up for this play all night. They're going to be in a cover, too. So you take a five-step drop, find Reggie on the sideline. When he breaks the corner, you sling it. We'll get out of here with a win. All right, let's do it. Hey, look for your boy on the post. I'll be open. Hey, it's not the play, man. Come on, Wade. It'll work, man. And you need this. Just let Tito be Tito. All right, here we go, fellas. Eyes on me. All right, we're going to go red, right, 82 buzz, wide corner. Check alert, Ozzy right, opposite, 27 Cardinal. All right, on three, on three. Who's right with me, boys? Here we go. Ready, break! Come on, man. I'm telling you, find me. I'll catch it. Congratulations. We're keeping you around. What? <laughs> Practice squad at first. But you keep doing the work, and I don't think you'll be there long. <laughs> oh, thank you, Coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Coach. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice job, Camp Arm. Yeah. Welcome to the team. Thanks, Mac. Welcome to the scout team, gentlemen. Your job is to get the defense ready for what they'll see on Sunday. Wade? We got a tough job this week. We're facing Tom Brady, the greatest. We need you to be him today. Got it.
Hey, Danny, you wanted to see me? Hey, Dev, come on in. Yeah. Have a seat. What's up? Well, the last time you were here was the superstar you. <laughs> I just want to play, coach. Then there was Grumpy Earl. Oh, I need Devin to do 100 more push-ups. And then there was me, a beacon of support and unconditional love. I support Devin. I'm in his team. I'm the one who signed him. Okay. Now imagine that viral video as some sort of rocket fuel jetpack. Oh, no! Devin's succeeding! Oh, we can't have that! Where's my value? Oh! Don't overshoot your landing! We're a team! We're in this together! I'm the one aside! And that's exactly what happened. I set you up with that viral video. Rocket fuel! But now my hands are tied. You get it, right? Uh... Yeah. I... I um... All right, I'll spell it. I'll spell it out for you. You've been signed over from our practice squad by the Houston Texans. You leave tomorrow. <gasps> I thought we were a team. Wow, you. But I guess congratulations are in order. You got what you wanted. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Oh man. Is, uh, is, is Earl in his office? I wanted to tell him thanks before I... No. He resigned this morning. His health. Take this. Oh, I'm gonna need it. For the next guy. Something to remember him by. Thanks. Hey. Good luck, kid. Welcome back to Good Morning Football. So, the Texans stumble out of the gate. Bill O'Brien takes a season-long leave of absence. They lure NFL legend Bill Cowher out of retirement to finish the year and then make a huge trade for Antonio Brown. All that only to have franchise quarterback Deshaun Watson go down for at least the next three weeks. So the question is, can Devin Wade help this team stay afloat until Watson returns? Hey, Devin, you got a second? Yeah, Coach. Let's come in. I'm going to talk to you for a second. Now, I could go on and on about why this game matters or what this game could mean to you in your future or how many people in this town are going to buy you ice cream for a month if we win, but I'm not going to do that. I am going to simplify it for you because it is simple. Get that. I am going to simplify it for you because it is simple. What? I'm trying to coach a game in here. Hey, sorry to interrupt, fellas. Yeah. Uh, you mind if I come in for a second? No, come on. Get your butt in here. No, it's just, uh, I brought some friends, too, so if they could come in, too. I don't care who you brought. Just get them in here quick. I got a game to coach. All right, coach. Tell us. <clears throat> yeah, just some friends. Cokers. Cokers. Coach Cal. Oh. I mean, uh, Cokers. Yeah. You're, you're, uh, you're Deshaun Watson. I sure am. And he's Antonio Brown. What's up, little man? I want to cover you one day. Oh, Let him so laugh. Hard. I'll stay healthy. So you'll get your chance. Look, guys, we just wanted to come down and say, hey, lend our support. Uh, it's, it's a big game for you guys, and uh, Coach Carroll was generous enough to give us the day. So uh, you guys get after him out there. You guys good for autographs out there? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Good luck tonight, Colt. Uh, Mr. Uh, Coach, uh, uh, Coward, uh, Bill, uh, would you? Uh, you know how big this game is, right? I, I do. I, and because of that, would you mind uh, saying a couple hey, words? You got this. No, I mean, you. I got, you're I got, you. I got, I got, I got, good, I got, I got. thank you. Um, hey, <laughs> Listen, I'm going to talk to you guys tonight. Um, you know, Colt and Devin, um, they're you. They came from here. And what they represent are people that never forgot where they came from. And the opportunity that you have tonight is you are part of a game that's more than a game. Yes, I want you to go out there. I want you to play hard. I want you to play smart. I want you to play physical and play together. But what you represent is more than the bullfrogs. You represent a community, Mathis. And you know what you're going to show them tonight? It's about resiliency. What you represent tonight is spirit. If you get knocked down, you get back up. 
and you show what a community can do when you all come together. That's the opportunity you have tonight. That's the responsibility you have tonight. And I couldn't be more proud and more excited to watch a group of young men bring a community back together. Kick some butt tonight. Go Bullfrogs. Well, there's one of the benefits of having a coach with some NFL connections, huh? <laughs> All right, uh, enough theatrics with my old man. And uh, I know Devin wanted to come up here and say, say a couple words. Yeah, I do. David. Wow. <laughs> this is uh, this is incredible. You know, I, I can't tell you what a great moment this is to be a part of. They say that a football team is nothing without its coach. Gotta make you feel like nothing is impossible, like the word doesn't even exist. So uh, so with that. I'd like to propose a toast to Coach Colton Cruz, the man who saved the Mathis Bullfrogs football team and the richest man in town. Get up here, buddy. What can I say? Um, just thank you. Hey, Devin, we have to head back. Colt, great job tonight. You have got a future in coaching, my friend. Stay in touch. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you, coach. <laughs> oh, you ready to tear it up in the NFL, baby? <laughs> Actually, you know what? For the first time, uh, I'm good here. But go out there and get it this weekend. Well, I'll be watching, all right? You got it, brother. Do us proud, baby. <laughs> what a day. What a day. We could talk football all day, but I want to talk about Devin Wade, the person. It's a big week, your first start in the NFL, and you find time to go home and support your community, which has been hit hard by the hurricane. So. Tell me, Devin, a little bit about what that trip meant to you. It meant the world to me. You know, we're letting little towns like Mathis die. Which means we're letting communities die. Now, if we continue to let that happen, we're only going to be torn further apart as a country. When I found out the community was banding together to save the team, I knew I needed to be a part of it. I, I had to be a part of it. just feel blessed that Coach Cowell felt the same way. It's really incredible. Help shine a light on little old Mathis. <laughs> Great stuff, Devin. I'll get you out of here with a little football, though. When I spoke to Coach Cower, he said you can morph into virtually any style of quarterback that we see in the NFL today. So I'm asking you, who is Devin Wade, really? Well, ironically, because he's the guy I'm playing this week, <laughs> the guy I look up to the most is Tom Brady. Love the way he gets rid of the ball, picks apart defenses. Handful of Super Bowl rings can't be wrong either, right? Awesome. Well, I could tell you, I, for one, am looking forward to seeing you out on the field. Good luck, Devin Wade. Good game, Devin. Way to play, man. I'm so impressed. Keep it up. You've got a great career ahead of you. Good things happen to good people. Yeah, hey, I appreciate that, Tom. I love watching you play, man. You too, man. All right, take care. Hey, my dad seriously gave you a loan for this place? Pitched him with PowerPoint and everything. We're partners. My family barbecue recipe and his lemonade. Not that Argentinian crap. Oh, yeah. Ever since that Brango got lifted, he's able to cut costs and pass the savings on to my customers. Hey, Munz. I gotta tell you, man. This place is pretty incredible. Except for the lemonade. That's undrinkable. And why is it $6 a cup? Well, thank you, Cole. I appreciate that. You have to pay for quality. 
Oh, speak of the devil. Ladies and gentlemen, look who we have here. Houston, Texas started quarterback, Devin Wade. Uh, well, not exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so fellas, uh, it being Thanksgiving, I wanted to introduce you to a guy that I'm truly thankful for. The coach that got me to where I am today. Earl Coates. Wow. It's nice meeting y'all. Yeah, it's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Well, welcome to Munson's Messy Barbecue. Come for the barbecue, stay for the weirdo company. <laughs> Slogan pending. Thank you kindly. Hey, D, I want you to check something out. What do you got, bud? I hung it up. My first decoration. Is it the one that was stolen? <laughs> no, it's the one he signed for me. Oh, that's cool, too. I guess. Hey. Hey. I think you'd make it. Glad you came. Well, Colt thinks I'm here to profess my love. <laughs> of course he does. <laughs> it's snowing! <laughs> Yo, everybody! Who's ready for a snowball? Come on! Oh, come on, man. That's from Say. We're making memories months. No regrets. Snow in Southeast Texas is crazy. <laughs> Guess global warming ain't all that bad. Come on, boys. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> After you. Thank you very much. Nobody knows how the story ends. Live the day, do what you can. This is only where it began. Nobody knows how the story ends Nobody knows how the story ends. Nobody knows how the story ends.